Matrix and Roadshow fans, we are back with another video and we're going to be talking about. I can't even believe these words even coming out of my mouth, folks. A new Zorro TV show. That doesn't actually have Zorro in it. Because this is a new woke version of Zorro. And it features actually a female in the lead role as a female Zorro. Ladies and gentlemen, Zorro is Spanish for Fox. So technically, I guess this would be a Zora. But I digress. And ladies and gentlemen, this show is actually going to be on the dying network of the CW. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very, very fitting that this show would be on the CW. Because everything on the CW now, CW has destroyed DC. I used to love watching The Flash. Season two of Arrow is some of the best stuff you'll ever see. But man, the CW has went down the woke rabbit hole and they are losing so much money that they are up for sale. Here we go, guys. Zorro drama with female lead from Robert and Rebecca Rodriguez. Sean Tretta and propagate in works at the CW. And I'm really starting to worry about Robert Rodriguez for one thing. He's actually been directing the episodes of the book of Boba Fett. And the book of Boba Fett is straight trash homie. I mean, that show is horrible. Now, it has gotten a little bit better each week. But it is still very, very bad. That is not Boba Fett. That is not the Boba Fett that um, we have known over the past 40 years. Just not him. But I digress. Check this out. Zorro is headed to the CW. The young skewing network has put in development a gender swap reimagining of the classic mass vigilante character from filmmaker Robert Rodriguez, writer director Rebecca Rodriguez, Sean Tretta, and Ben Silverman and Howard T. Owens propagate. CBS Studios, where Propagate has a deal, is the studio. This is a new incarnation of the project, which was in development at NBC during the 2020-2021 cycle with Tretta as a new addition to the brother and sister writing team of Robert and Rebecca Rodriguez. co penned by the trio and to be directed by Rebecca Rodriguez in Zorro, a young Latinx woman seeking vengeance for her father, father's murder, joins a secret society and adopts the outlaw, outlaw persona of Zorro. First things first, Latinx, that is a fake word. That's not even a real word. Now, Robert Rodriguez, being a Latino, should know this. They should know this. But this is going to be on the CW. So I'm not surprised that this word is actually being used. I'm not surprised. This is insulting to the Latino community. You're either Latino, Latina or Latinos, plural. This Latinx thing is something made up by woke people. It's not a real word. But it goes on. I hear the story by Robert and Rebecca Rodriguez was already in place when Tretta, who has an overall deal at CBS Studios, came on board earlier this cycle to write the script. When will they learn? Why are they why are they gender swapping Zorro? And ladies and gentlemen, by the way, it doesn't even take place in the 1800s. This actually will be taking place in modern day. When will they learn that this stuff? does not work. If you want something for a female, just create a new character. Don't take an existing character and gender swap them. It doesn't work. When you race and gender swap, it's doomed to fail. Just like that uh, Anne Boleyn uh, movie. I believe it was a movie or TV show. They made Anne Boleyn black. Anne Boleyn was not black. She was white. The wife of uh, Henry VIII. Hollywood just doesn't get it, man. They want to run themselves in the ground with all of this woke propaganda. They just do not get it, man. This is insulting, man. And. And I love the Massa Zorro with Antonio Banderas. 
that was a great Zorro movie. Loved it. Antonio Banderas, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Anthony Hopkins. That was a great movie. That is Zorro. And Zorro is actually based, I don't know if they actually know this, on a real person. A real person. Joaquin Murrieta was a real person. A folk hero. That's who Zorro was based on. And now they're just going to get a woman in a role for identity politics purposes. That's the only reason this show is being made. And there's no doubt about it. This is going to fail bit time, bit time. Maybe the CW, by the time this thing actually gets out, maybe the CW will be completely uh, broke from being woke. The DC stuff is done. I don't see how in the world this thing is going to be successful at all. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Matrix and Roadshow fans, what a disaster A woke female Zorro. Doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm not surprised. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.